ready for today's video I'm gonna show you how to style curly hair I've had so many countless questions about this and I just really need to address it I was kind of waiting to tweak certain steps that I do in certain products that I use in the order of them so I feel like I finally figured it out and I really like how my hair has been looking lately so many of you guys have noticed a difference in my hair and that just really makes me happy because that means I'm finally getting it right and curly hair is always trial and error and everyone's hair is going to be different so if you don't have the same cut as mine if you don't have the same curl style as mine then it's not going to turn out exactly the same but I feel like these tips and stuff are still going to help you and also the products I feel like will still help you but really the products is what's going to be different for different curl types types and I have a whole video about different curl types and stuff if you want to check that out first. I also have one all about sulfates and silicone so I recommend checking that out first if you don't currently use sulfate free shampoo. I think it's super important though it makes a huge difference as far as how healthy your hair is and also how frizzy it is so I think that's really important. And then the products that go along with sulfate free shampoo is also really important or else you get build up on your scalp which will just weigh down your curls. So for my shampoo and conditioner, this is what I use in the shower first, so obviously I didn't film in the shower, but I'm just going to quickly tell you what I usually do in the shower. I have been using the Nuance Blue Agave Curls, Wave, Curls and Wave Shampoo, so these can be used for wavy or curly hair. I've been using these for a few weeks now and I've really been enjoying them, but what I do is I only shampoo my hair about every two to three days. When you have curly hair, you really don't need to shampoo it as much because you don't produce as much oil. And the only thing that I really wash my hair every day for is just to remove the products and stuff and to reshape the curls. So I still shower every single day. I just get my hair wet and then I will condition it on the days that I don't shampoo it. So I always use conditioner every day, but I do not use shampoo every day. I probably only use shampoo every two to three days. Or you could do it every other day starting out until you get used to doing it less often. But I've actually found that my hair looks a lot better on the days that I do not shampoo it. It's a lot less frizzy and it's just more manageable, I feel like. Um, but over time, obviously, you are going to get products that might get built up in your hair, so you do want to shampoo every so often. So that's what I do first in the shower. After I apply my conditioner, I like to let it sit for at least 5 to 10 minutes while I'm doing everything else. If I'm going to be using a deep conditioning treatment, I like to let it sit even longer. Or if I use coconut oil, that's also a really great deep conditioning treatment. And I like to put it up in a bun while I shave and do everything else, that way it doesn't get rinsed out in the water. So then after the conditioner has set my hair for a while, then I use a wide tooth comb. I had another shower comb that I usually use, I just can't find it at the moment, so I've been using this one. But anything that has wide teeth on it and it's also not going to catch on your hair, so I prefer the shower ones. But this one has been working okay for now, but any wide tooth comb, you just want to make sure that it is wide tooth and it's not a very fine comb. I just use this to distribute that conditioner throughout my hair and also comb it through. You want to be super gentle with your hair when it is wet. So I only go through the ends first and then I move up to the top and then I can pull it all the way through. But you don't want to rip through your hair, you just want to be really careful to not tug on it and just get those tangles out. And it's a lot harder for loose hairs throughout the day to fall out when you have curly hair because they just get stuck in the curls. So that's why you usually have tangles and that's also why you shed a lot in the shower. So, so I do not recommend combing your hair at all when you get out of the shower. Even if your hair is still soaking wet and you come in out of the shower, it still makes a huge difference and I don't like doing it like that. So while I'm still in the shower, I comb it and then I wring it out. And after you rinse your hair, you might find that it's like stuck to your head. And that's usually when I take my fingers and I run my hands through. This is probably one of the most important steps to my whole curly hair routine. It's kind of like one of my secrets, I guess, is after I comb it through, it's like pulled straight and stuck down. I just take my fingers and kind of rough it up a little bit. Of course, I'm still gentle, but I just try to scrunch it. I try to pull my fingers through the top so it's not totally stuck down. Because if you go to wrap your hair up when it's still like that, it's going to dry that way and it's going to be pulled straight and it's not going to be as curly. So the key to having really bouncy curls is when it's drying. So any way that you're drying it, whether if it's towel drying it, air drying it, or blow drying it, the way that it is when it's drying is how defined the curls are going to be. So that's when I just start running my fingers through it. It really makes a huge difference. And then it's still wet and dripping and everything, so I'm not like totally pulling everything apart. That's why I still do it in the shower. I try to twist my hand too and twist the hair when I wring it out because that helps the curls start to define. As soon as you rinse your hair, that's when they really start to shrink up. So then I just flip my head over and I put my t-shirt on my head. I like using a t-shirt like I've said before in previous curly hair videos because a towel really just pulls your hair straight. It's too heavy on your head and it can also cause more frizz because of the little fibers that it has. So I just like using a plain cotton t-shirt to wrap up my hair. And then I'll let that sit for probably just five or so minutes just to get rid of that excess water and help wring it out. You could even just scrunch your hair if you want with it. You don't even have to wrap it up. 
So after I take my hair down, that's usually when I use a leave-in conditioner. You don't have to use a leave-in conditioner. Sometimes I skip this when I'm in a hurry, but, but if you don't have a very hydrating conditioner, then I definitely recommend using a leave-in one because you want your hair to feel very moisturized and not feel dry and slippery at all. You just want it to feel very hydrated. So this is just the Nuance Metafoam C Leave-In Treatment. This also, I think, has um, color protecting stuff in it. Um, it protects your hair from UVB rays, so lots of different stuff in here that's good for your hair. So I just run a little bit of this through mainly the ends of my hair. And then that's when I use a curl cream. And a curl cream I think is extremely important because that's really is what's going to help define your curls. And it really makes a huge difference in my opinion. This one is my favorite one that I've ever tried and it's the Nuance Blue Agave Curl Cream. And all of these are safe to use on color treated hair by the way and they're all designed to use with sulfate free shampoo because I like using full hair care lines together because I feel like they're all designed to work together so I find that that works the best than mixing brands and stuff but you can mix brands if you want I've totally done that before too so when I'm applying this through my hair I'm not running my fingers through my hair at all I don't want to pull apart the curls I just want to evenly distribute it so what I like to do is just twist my hair and I like to just twist my hands around it but I don't want to just pull my fingers through because then it's just going to make all the curls pull apart and then I kind of just pat it through I also bring it onto the top and then I don't do this every single day but if I just want a little extra volume I'll use the Nuance Wheat Protein Volumizing Foam and I just apply a little bit of this to my roots just to help bump it up because when I'm blow drying it I notice it does um, make a difference when I use a little bit of mousse at the roots. You could also use a root lifting spray or whatever you want or you could totally skip it. That's what I do a lot of days. And then if you prefer to air dry your hair I would recommend using little claw clips. Those actually are going to bump up the volume at your roots. So if you just push them into your hair and you pull your hair up a little bit when you clip them, it'll help give you that lift so when your hair is drying, it doesn't just dry flat to your head. So then this is usually when I just let my hair air dry about 50% or 70% of the way. I don't like to totally blow dry my hair from dripping wet hair. So I like to let the curls kind of define naturally and shrink up while I'm doing my makeup. So this is usually about 20 to 30 minutes. And then after I have my makeup done and everything and I'm dressed, then I use the Nuance Blue Agave Wave Enhancing Styling Swirl. And this is one of those gel cream swirls. I love this. This is probably my favorite product. But this is what I use as my holding product. So you want something that's going to give you some hold. Especially if you have really tight curls and really unruly hair, you want to use something like a gel cream. I don't recommend using a plain gel though. Or or you could even use a mousse if you want but mousses are a little bit drying because they have alcohol in them so I definitely like using a curl cream gel so then I just put a little bit on my hands and I just pat it onto my hair and scrunch it at the same time I don't like scrunching and rubbing all up through the top of my head I just like kind of scrunching it through the ends and then patting it on the rest of my hair and as you can tell I kind of just like to twist my hands around that's to really define the curls and pull them away from my face and help them shrink up even more um, but you don't want to run your fingers through it you also don't want to rub your hair too much you'll just create more frizz so you just want to be really gentle and barely touch your hair but just try to distribute that product evenly if you have any curls that are just not cooperating, you can also take them and wrap them around your finger. You just want to make sure you wrap them in the natural direction that the curl is already going and just have a little bit of product on your hand. I just wrap it and then I hold it for a second and then I let it go and it usually helps that curl get more defined. So then that's when I use my blow dryer and I definitely recommend getting a diffuser if you don't already have one. You can buy the attachments separately to go on whatever blow dryer you have. They make universal ones but mine came with my blow dryer. And the blow dryer settings are really what's most important. I have mine on hot. You could do it on warm if you want. But, but since I'm using it on low, I like using the hot heat because then it still gets it dry in time. I don't like using the high powerful heat. That's just too much air blowing and it makes too much frizz and blows it all over the place. Just really low powered hot heat is what I like. But you could use warm. You could even use cool if you don't want to damage your hair. So what I do when I first start is I put the blow dryer right at the top of my roots and then I give it a little bit of a lift and I just hold it there. Like I said, you don't want to go crazy and move it all over your head. You just want to hold it very gently. And then when you go to remove it, you also don't want to pull through your curls. You want to just gently move it off of your hair and then move on to another area. So I just gradually go around my head in different little sections. And then once I'm done with my roots, that's really going to give my hair a lot of lift at the root. I like to go and do the different layers. So I have about three layers in my hair. One of them is really short to here. One of them is about to here. And then I have the regular longer one. I just gather that top layer up into the diffuser and then I gently push it up to my head. I like to angle my blow dryer directly towards my hair and not straight up like this because that just blows that frizz upward and you're just blowing that cuticle up the opposite direction. 
So it's almost better to blow dry your hair downwards, but for that curl lift, you want it to still lift. So I like to do it just straight towards my head like that. And I, and I don't have any frizz problem that way because if it's going to make frizz, it's going to blow it this way instead of out so you can see it. So that helps a lot with the frizz too. And then I just move on to the middle section and I just make sure I do that evenly and then I go on to the bottom. And that's where you can really see the curl definition. As you can tell on each side, one is a lot shorter than the other side. That's because I've only done the one side so far. And you can see how much the curls shrink up compared to the one that's not blow dried yet. So then after I do the bottom layer, I just move on to the other side. I also like to do the back crown a little bit. I just give it a little bit of lift just so it's not so flat back there. And I finish doing the rest of my head. But you just want to work really slowly. You don't want to move it around a lot. You want to barely touch your hair and just give it enough lift to where it can shrink up and dry that way. So then after I'm done with blow drying, I like to use a serum. This is just the Nuance Healthy Shine Nourishing Oil. This has argan oil, coconut oil, and olive oils in it. And you could just use an argan oil or any type of serum that you have, but I recommend using one that can be used with sulfate-free shampoo so it doesn't um, stick in your hair and it can be washed out. But I just like to take a little bit of this on the tips of my fingers and just pat it onto my hair. That's going to help smooth down any flyaways or frizzies that I've gotten when I was blow drying it. And it just gives it shine. It makes it feel really soft and healthy. And my hair does not feel crunchy at all. So all of these products combined and also not using too much product really makes my hair feel soft and touchable and not super crunchy and stiff. Um, if you use too much product, especially something like this gel cream, you can end up with crunchy hair and that's just not cute because then it just looks wet and unnatural and you still want it to be very soft and just defined at the same time. So then that is all that I do. It's really quick. I can probably get my hair done between 5 to 10 minutes, maybe 15 with the blow drying and I think it's really quick and it's just easy to do and I really like the results that I get. Um, like I said, sometimes I don't blow dry, sometimes I do just depending on how much time I have and whether I'm going like out or something. But if I were to just purchase the essential products, it would obviously be the shampoo and conditioner, and then it would be the curl cream, and then it would be the styling swirl. These three products or four products with the shampoo and conditioner are what I use the majority of day to day. They're what I take with me traveling. The other ones are just little extra ones that give your hair a little bit of boost, whether it be a little bit of volume at the roots or just smoothing down flyaways. So you don't have to have all of those. I would just definitely recommend those essentials, but if you like the extra little treatments and stuff, then I would definitely recommend checking those out. Sometimes I also like to take a little bit of the styling swirl and go over any areas that still need some defining or if it just looks a little too frizzy or just needs a little bit more hold, I just put a little bit of that on my fingertips and go over those areas and then I'm finished. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any tips or products you'd love to use for your curly hair, definitely leave them in the comments down below. That way everyone can see them. So everything that I talked about, whether it be the tips and the steps, are all going to be listed on my blog. So if you want to refer to that, you could even print it out if you need to, to help you with styling. Just something you can kind of take with you because I know it's kind of overwhelming of the steps and everything and the little tips and extra things that I do. So if there's anything I forgot, it'll be all over there. And the link for my blog is always the first link in the description box below this video. It's right above the comments so if you have trouble finding it that's where it is and I also am going to have all of these products that I use linked on there to where you can purchase them or you can also find them at CVS Pharmacy they only sell nuanced stuff at CVS or you can order it online so that's where you can get them I'm also going to link any other hair videos that I have down below I do have some on how to straighten curly hair and maintain it I have some on sulfates some old styling routines that I have done are all going to be linked in that description box below the video and give this video a thumbs up if it helped you or if you have any questions concerning your specific hair type definitely leave them in the comments and I will get back to you as well or you can tweet me or send me an email and my email is just glammyup8 at gmail.com if you decide to try this whole routine out and you do it on your hair with your products or with these products I would love to see a picture so if you could tag me on Twitter or Instagram it's just glammyup so you can follow me on there to keep up with me day to day but I would love to see the pictures of your hair if you guys decide to try out this routine I'm also going to be announcing the giveaway winner, the giveaway I had going on on my Twitter and Instagram where I was giving away NYX products. I had a ton of entries on that and I just wanted to thank everyone for entering that. I'm going to have the winner for that linked in the description box below. Make sure you're following me over on Twitter and Instagram because I do plan on having some more giveaways on there. So I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on one and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye everybody. She also asked what job do you see yourself having? Well, I'm a marketing major, so I hope to do something with marketing. I would love to do something with marketing for YouTube or not.